This is our experience building the Justin Rhodes Chickshaw 2.0. I want to talk about the plans and some things that were a little bit confusing that I can try to explain. Um, some things that we changed that worked for us and maybe how to save you a little bit of money. Now, I would definitely recommend getting his plans. We followed along with them. So I'll link down below a video of his where he has a link to get the plans. Um, you put your email in and he sends it to you pretty quickly. Uh, he does email you like every other day after that, but you can unsubscribe. Let's briefly talk about the tools that you'll need. Uh, his list on the plans is pretty good. Obviously, a table saw is going to be the best thing. We used a miter saw and a circular saw. That's what we had. Uh, there's a lot of rips that you have to do. And we actually made a video about how to rip wood with a circular saw. Uh, so I'll link that down below if you want to see that. It worked pretty well for us. And then we actually couldn't find a good tool to cut the roofing material, like, nice and straight. Uh, so we just left that long. It looks a little bit silly, but it, it rains a lot here, so maybe it'll be extra rain protection. Uh, but that's really it for the tools. Okay, building materials. So he did not list a part for the handle. Uh, we just didn't put one on there and we just grab onto the wood to move the chickshaw. Uh, it, it's a little bit of a stretch for me at 5'5", five five, but it's really pretty natural for Eric at about 6'5". Uh, if you do want a handle, he says later on in step 49 in the instructions, to cut your chain link fence top rail to form your handlebar. So I guess that's what his handlebar is made out of. But if we were to put handles on the chickshaw, we'd probably just put shorter ones on both pieces of wood so that we don't have to duck under the whole handlebar to be able to move the chickshaw. So I guess we forgot to order a piece of plywood for the door. I don't know. So we just ended up making a makeshift door out of pallet wood, and it totally works. Uh, and in the plans, he's, he has two lock shims and two barrel locks for the door. Uh, we just did one hook and eye lock on one side. Uh, as you can see, there's like a little bit of a gap on one side of the door, but it's not big enough for really any predators to get in, so we thought this was totally sufficient. For the wheels, we got the Marathon flat free wheels like he recommends, but we got the 24 inch rather than the 26 inch just because we found them for a lot less expensive. Uh, so we ended up placing them about a foot further towards the back of the chickshaw. And he said in a video that this would make it a lot heavier. And that might be the case because he says that his children can move his chickshaw, and I don't think a child could move ours, but it definitely works for us. It's, it's not too, too heavy. So you'll see a lot of wood braces and things in the product list. We couldn't find a lot of these things, so what we ended up doing is just using more wood screws at 45 degree angles. So if you're going to do it this way, I would just recommend buying maybe like 10 to 20% more wood screws than he recommends in the parts. We did not add a dust box platform or mineral feeders inside the chickshaw uh, just because we thought our birds got enough of that during the day and we thought it wasn't too necessary. We also didn't put the nesting boxes in quite yet and we just attached more of the quarter inch wire on the back with some staples, um, just because we wanted to try to find a better deal on the milk crates. Uh, they're kind of pricey on Amazon, so we'll see what we could do. And we have babies in there right now, so um, we don't need them quite yet. Let's now jump into some notes that I have about the building of the actual chickshaw. So the wood we got was cedar, 
and it was pretty rough on three sides and just really smooth on one side. So this might be kind of obvious for some people, but just try and put the smooth side on the outside of the chickshaw just so when you touch it or rub up against it, you're not likely to get a splinter. So when you first start the building, you're going to be doing tons and tons of cuts and rips and things. And you're going to be doing some 45 degree angle cuts. Just uh, pay attention really carefully here and look at the photos really carefully. Because some of the 45 degree angles you're doing on the long side of the wood. And some of them you're doing on the short side of the wood. So just pay a lot of attention to those steps there. If we skip down to step number 55, you'll notice that the roofing frame base is totally flush with the front of your chickshaw. This is what you hold to open the top of it, so it makes it kind of awkward to open it up. I would attach a handle or maybe just a small piece of wood there to be able to hold it as you open up the chickshaw, because uh, there, will, there will be roofing on top of there as well, so it's just kind of awkward. So that is all the notes I have. I would definitely recommend uh, getting the plans and building yourself a chick shaw. We are happy with it and I think our ducks and chicks are happy with it as well. Uh, so please comment down below with any questions and I will leave those links down below that I mentioned. And thank you so much for watching.